condition. It wasn't that windy. We did a little practice hoist to start and sort of worked out what our angle might be. We, we thought we weren't going to be uh, as low as we were. Uh, ended up pretty much nailing time on distance at the start with uh, us and CT and the kites up and ripping right on the gun. And then we had uh, all the kiters and windsurfers, a few of them come out from under our bow and the kiters especially were just gone. Yeah. Probably doing you know five ten knots more than what we were doing, yeah. and we were literally pointing way well below Alcatraz, and we were hoping it was going to hook up, and it never did. Yeah. And then we got it off the same time as Sea Tech, and then we were two sail reaching. Yeah. Till we got past Alcatraz, and then uh, it was a bit of a battle of hoisting and dropping for about three or four times, and working up into gusts and two sailing and. Ended up getting overtaken by the boats that were up to windward of us and they came down and puffed. And so where did you end up finally? We ended up third out of the 18s. And Graham kind of snuck in there. Yeah, Graham bit. snuck in there. and Graham should have won it, but uh, how he slipped past them, just a bit better boat handling. Yeah. And uh, how were the sea state conditions down there on the course? Oh, it, was, it was pretty flat. We were, I think if we were closer under shore it might have been a bit lumpier, but it, was, it wasn't too bad to be honest. We went out practicing the Sunday before the racing. That was a lot, a lot gnarlier. Yeah. So that was nothing really. Okay. Uh, well, uh, thanks for the interview and cool. good luck tomorrow.